Um, I I don't I, I'm just I'm, my mind is blown. Full frame Panasonic. Wow. How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be talking about something very crazy. I just found out that Panasonic will be dropping their first official full frame camera okay on september 25th now this is gonna be their first release or not their it's gonna be their first full frame camera release uh and it's exciting because as a panasonic user uh you know i remember getting my first gh4 it was my favorite camera i did everything with this camera i i it, it just it, it got all the i don't do too many photos i'm a video guy so it was just the perfect camera for me and then the gh5 came out i upgraded i loved the feature i mean this thing the gh5 is packed with so many features being able to have the LUT features in that small screen being able to 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 uh, uh what else uh you got the in-body image stabilization you got the 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 uh uh there's a uh, what is the other things i i use i'm talking there's a it has a bunch of features let me i just my brain is melting right now but it's late at night what time is it it's 4 29 a.m and i'm just making this video because I, I i just stumbled upon the article and i was like wow this is pretty crazy like the the lens war right now is not a joke everybody wants Everybody, these companies are not playing this year <laughs> you know what i'm saying but honestly like i think panasonic is really gonna come and really take the game by storm like they, every time they have a release especially when it comes to the dslr realm i don't pay too much attention to their high-end like video specific model cameras but when it comes to the dslr realm these guys have been dominating the, the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only thing that they are lacking has to be the autofocus. My God, please, please, Panasonic. Even if you kept every single feature from the GH5 that I am currently shooting with and just added the, 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 the autofocus, you have yourself, but you, you, you might, a lot of people might, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't upgrade just for that, but I'm just saying, people who are new to your systems are going to flock to it because the the, the features that this camera offers are just uh, off the charts. Um, you know, uh, yeah, going back to the features, uh, you know, you have the, like I said, the in-body optimization, you have the LUT feature, you got the 10-bit in-camera, internal, not external BS, like Nikon. I don't know why y'all thought that, like, I don't even understand. Like, how does that make sense? How do you look at your competitors and you see, okay, Panasonic has this feature and it's in-camera and it and it's, does all these things in-body and then you go and you release your camera and you, oh, you can only get four 10-bit, or whatever, whatever it is, external, like externally, bro. That is stupid, Camp Nikon. I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I don't get it. I, I, it's dumb. I think it's stupid. But anyways, moving on. Um, and that's only a plethora. The, the menu system is. I have messed with so many different cameras, and Panasonic has literally the best menu system that I have messed with. Other than Black Magic, I know Black Magic Pockets, and I know they have a very amazing, really nice, big monitor with their software. I know that's amazing as well, but that's a whole like Black Magic is on a whole different realm of its own because of the fact that, um, you know, like they, 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 their camera, they can do things with their cameras that. Uh, like with the ProRes features and all that, that's that, you know, the ProRes HQ feed, that's dope. And that's another thing I wanna talk about since this is my predictions. Okay, I would like to see Panasonic have a better in-body stimulization, which I mean, that's not that big of a deal because the DH5 is doing a, an amazing job. Please, please, whatever you do, do not remove the 4k 60 frames per second in video mode please 
That's all I'm saying. Because that, as a, someone who shoots a lot of music videos, that's crucial, okay? The quality should be going up, not down. It doesn't make any sense. Do not do what Nikon did. Do not do what Sony did by not putting 60 frames. Like, I, what are y'all, not Sony, Canon, I'm sorry. What are y'all, what are they, what were they thinking? Um, what else would I like to see? I would like to see, uh, I would like to be able to somehow, I would like to see adapters that will allow me to use lenses that I currently have, which that again, that may not be that big of a deal because since it's a full frame, the lenses won't work anyways, or maybe they will, I don't know. I have some kind of, my GH5's uh, 18 to 35, I mean, my, my, my Sigma 18 to 35 lens will probably work as well. Um, so I'm not worried on that part. That is an amazing lens and with this camera, it might be something crazy. But the only thing is now with full frame, the 18 to 35 may not be the best lens anymore. It will be a good lens, but it may not be the best lens because keep in mind with full frame, with it being full frame, you're going to lose uh, that, that, that that extra bokeh you get with things being closer to you or with it being that with, with that crop factor um that's why i don't understand why a lot of people complain about uh, cameras having crop factors and stuff like shut up like seriously like a lot of cameras these days have crop factors especially when shooting 4k like you, there's nothing you can do about it it's not even that bad it just scoop back and get the pictures or the images that you want it's not that big of a deal bro you in fact the images will probably look better just because um it's cropped so you get more bouquet especially if you're more you know blurred around on, on your background especially when you're dealing with uh 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 you know especially when you're dealing with trying to get cinematic shots and videos again i'm speaking mainly video here um Another thing I would like to see is better low light capability. The fact that you guys have, it's gonna be a full frame camera, that shit better be, um, like you guys have been dominating, like I keep saying, in so many different levels. I really hope that you continue that with this. I want, to, I want you guys to drop this camera and make every other company be like, whoa. Like, whoa. Like it, the, 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 your, your, you guys' release has to shock the planet because the GH5 is still such an amazing camera that it's just, it doesn't make sense the things that, that what you guys did with this camera. So again, I, this video kind of turned into me just kind of boosting them and just, you know, talking about a lot of things about the GH5 Plus, but I, I just, I really want this full frame camera to just have everything that the g um, uh, uh, that the gs5 was lacking and i just wanted to be made so much better because if it is that much better you guys are really about to take over the game you know in a in a in a way that is unheard of because i feel like what 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 does panasonic have to lose like what do you guys really have to lose in this at this point in time the gs5 is still doing well it still offers features in camera that a lot of these other companies don't even have the vlog is perfect it's easy to grade i mean seriously like i don't i i'm i'm trying i'm literally trying to fathom what would you do with the other than the low light capability like i said um uh better just better everything like there's not one thing specific that i would like i just want everything in this gh5 upgraded to the to the to the to the uh full frame mirrors what i don't want to see is you guys taking certain specific features and i don't want to i don't want this full frame camera to have less features than the gh5 that just to me doesn't make any sense unless it's cheaper than the gh5 if it's cheaper than the gh5 uh like in a if it's competing with the black magic pocket cinema which i i i highly doubt it by 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 a huge margin um 
because like I keep saying, the black magic is, is very, very unique in the fact that the, the, the it shoots in so many different modes that um, I don't, I honestly don't understand why Panasonic doesn't have these modes yet. Hopefully in a future update, they'll add it. Oh, another thing I wanted to say that I forgot earlier is I, I, I really hope that you guys add the ProRes HQ to be able to to be uh, to be able to be recorded in camera, that feature will really help a lot of people, especially who do music videos and stuff like that. Because as you all know, if you have a Mac, especially if you have a Mac, the the it, it just it runs a lot smoother. No need to transcode. That would save me especially so much time. I'm coming from my point of view, and I don't know if anybody else is going through or through the same point of views that are just seeing things the way I'm seeing it but th this would really help another thing I think that the competition that you guys need to really look at is of course Sony of course all these other companies but really black magic man I feel like a lot of these companies be sleeping on black magic when it comes to features like in camera features when it comes to professional level stuff a lot of people use the gh5 for a lot of professional work so why would you not add that you know i, I don't know i'm rambling at this point but I, like i said i'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like um i i don't i i'm just I'm, my mind is blown full frame panasonic wow uh yeah, man, I can't wait to see what this has to offer when it comes out. You know, there have been rumors about the GH6 coming out here and there. Um, uh, you know, 20, uh, September 25th, man, we're going to see what's popping. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to be dropping another video tomorrow. Make sure you stick around. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what's popping. I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace out.